Hello folks, welcome to the Urban Rider studio. It's starting to get cold outside, so you will see in front of me a selection of heated clothing from the company Macna to cover any body part you might want to heat. We have the full kit here. And what's really nice about this is that you can buy any one of these items as a standalone if you just want to heat that body part, or obviously they connect together seamlessly, very simply, uh, without any excess or unnecessary cabling either. So it works really, really well. And in that sense, it can be a little bit of a Lego block project where you can just add things as you go and maybe start with the most important area to you and just add things on top as you might require. Now, there are a lot of details to go through. So anything I might miss, you can drop a question in the comments section. You can also check our description on the website and links for all of these items will be found down below. Now I'm gonna focus on all of your other body parts, excluding your hands for the moment, because there is a separate glove specific review to go through the four glove options we have from Macna, if you'd like to check that out. All of the items you see on this table have Bluetooth connectivity, which I will get onto, it's very fancy, and I uh, will explain a bit more about that as we go through. And they have a variety or dual options for actually powering them, so you can either go for the battery option, either a 7.4 volt or 12 volt battery. The 12 volt battery will be more powerful and will make them a little bit warmer, so bear that in mind if you are choosing. Or you can link them directly to your bike via either linking it to the actual battery or if you have an adapter, a socket on your bike, as a lot of bikes do nowadays. You've got a 12 volt adapter that looks like this and you can plug it into your motorcycle and then using a variety of different cables, there are loads to choose from, you will definitely be able to find something that actually suits your purposes and your needs. You can link, like I say, any one particular item if you just want to heat one body part, or you can obviously connect it all together, and that works really well. In case you're wondering, maybe you want a ballpark figure for how long this might last on battery power alone, it will vary depending on the type of battery that you're using because they have a few different options and of course the heat setting that you actually have it on. But as a ballpark, uh, the trousers and the jackets, your legs and your torso, have a maximum of about four and a half hours. For the socks, it's between five and a half hours and two and a half hours depending again on the heat setting that you choose, but that is for the 7.4 volt, 2200 milliamp hour battery. Now, obviously it depends on your usage. Uh, it will change depending on how you're using it, what conditions you're in, etc. but it's a good kind of ballpark. And what I would say from my own experience of using this stuff in the past is that is in line with other heated products. Um, so if you do compare it to others, it's pretty much what you would expect anyway. And it's more than enough for the average commuter to get in and out from work. Now, if you are gonna do a really long trip, longer distances, longer time, then I would recommend linking it to your bike and just making sure you have power the whole time. On to the details then, starting with your torso. So to my right-hand side, we have the Macna Center heated top. These are available for 210 pounds. It's made using a polyester outer. You also have a tricot liner in the inside and it is fully heated. So that is your body and your arms. And you'll notice if you open it up that it has reflective panels on the inside which cover the heating but also help reflect that heat back to yourself. So it will keep you nice and comfortable on the bike. Like I say, it does depend a little bit. If you use 12 volts, then it will be warmer than if you use these 7.4 volts, just to be aware. On the inside, you have a pouch for that battery that also has the connecting cable, which you can use a link cable or a splitter cable. There are loads of different options. You can't get it wrong either. There is only one way to plug that in. Uh, and that can link this to your trousers if you need. So you can split that off and link the jacket and the center trousers. Uh, it also has little uh, adapters or cables, sorry, coming out of your sleeves, which actually tuck neatly away in there. But those would connect to the gloves if you wanted to add those two together. If you're at all confused about any of this, there are diagrams, but honestly, whilst it might sound a little bit technical, it's very, very simple and easy to understand. It's got a really usable amount of flexibility and uh, with motorcycle gear, that's always a good thing. But with mid layers, under layers, 
That's also additionally a good thing because it is going to be underneath the motorcycle jacket or trousers, obviously. So you want it to be flexible and the jacket and trousers definitely are. To turn it on, you will notice a panel at your chest. You'll also notice a Bluetooth logo. So you can connect this to your phone. I'll show you that in a moment. You also have a battery gauge there so you can tell how much power you have if you are using a battery. And obviously it, is, it has a panel there reading the heat setting that you've got it on. And that is displayed by the color that it's on. All of these items are fairly modest when it comes to the actual heat generated. But once you start living with them and using them more frequently, you'll find that it is enough. And what you don't want to do is cook yourself from the inside out because then you'll actually be fighting against what you're trying to do. Your body will try and cool itself down, which isn't really what you're going for. All you're really trying to do is maintain a comfortable temperature, which these will do. There are other options for your torso. So there's also the Ascent jacket which is available in a men's or women's version. And it does differ from this ever so slightly. That uses a polyester outer, uh, but it's also down. So it's more of your traditional down mid layer, as you might expect. So it does a really good job of keeping your warmth in, regardless of whether or not it's actually actively heating you at the time. And then of course, again, all of your body is covered by heating. It works in a very similar way to the center otherwise though. And there's another option if you just want to go for a gilet to heat your body rather than going down your arms as well. And it might be a little bit easier to fit underneath your motorcycle jacket if you do go that route. And that is called the Cloud. And it comes in at 185 pounds. I should also say that the Ascent comes in at 210 pounds. Probably a good time to actually explain a little bit more about the Bluetooth and demonstrate how you can actually link this to your phone. So as I say, this is the cloud that I have on. And if I just hold down the switch there, it will turn on, the Bluetooth will blink. I'll open the app, I will add a new item and I will search for it. It will come up very quickly and it is linked. Beautiful. So then I just choose what it is, it is a vest. And you can see that I have a set of gloves and I have a vest linked with the app. I can cycle through on here, different heat settings. So I can turn that up to four if I want. I can see how charged the battery is, which is a useful feature. I believe you can also put a timer on items. I don't think I would use that all too often, but it's a handy thing to have all the same. And you may well ask me why this would be useful. It becomes really apparent if you've used heated stuff in the past. Now, picture yourself in the full getup. You've gone suited and booted, you've got your socks, your trousers, your jacket, your gloves. Say you get off the bike at the services or something and come back, rather than having to fiddle around turning on each individual item, you can control it all through here. And you can set things at different temperatures. If you find your hands are colder than your body, you can just alternate and change uh, and really specify, drill down to the nitty gritty of how warm you want to be. It's really quick and easy to use. The gloves are also compatible with touchscreen, so you can just flip through this on the fly. Now I'm gonna turn it off before I get a little bit too warm in the studio, because I can definitely feel that working. Next up, you have the Macna heated trousers. These are available for 170 pounds, and they share a lot of similarities, unsurprisingly, with the center jacket or center top. In as much as they use the same materials, they have the same reflective material running the full length, and they will heat all of your leg. They have a polyester outer, a tricot liner, and like I say, this reflective material as well. You'll find a pocket around your waistline if you do go for the battery option. You've also got that cable there if you do want to plug it into your bike. And you'll find, again, two little cables, short cables, on your ankles if you did want to couple this with the socks. Now, the trousers have a decent amount of flexibility. They don't pad you out too much, but you will want to make sure you've got room in whatever trousers you are putting over the top of them. When it comes to sizing, you can check all sizing information on the website or drop a question in the comment section. Now, I've got no notes for any of the rest of the gear other than I would admit the socks do come up a little bit snug. So I am a size 43 and or European size 43, UK size nine. And actually I went with the large, which I think is listed if the sock is to be believed between 45 and size 48. So this actually fit me pretty well and it was still relatively snug. So just bear that in mind when it comes to the socks specifically. So these are the Macna Lava 2 heated socks and they're available for 145 pounds as of making this video. Again, they have Bluetooth connectivity. Again, you can go for battery powered 
or connected to your bike. And the heating, in case you are wondering, they're also quite long. Definitely worth pointing that out as well. They are quite a long sock. Uh, so it goes down your leg, as you can see there, it's the top of your foot that's actually heated. Uh, and again, fairly modest in terms of heating, but it will at least manage to keep you at a comfortable temperature. They've used a combination of materials, I believe, but the important one here is Merino wool. Merino wool does a great job of keeping you warm. It's a great insulating material. It's also considered very good at moisture wicking, and that is going to be important with socks in particular, I would argue. Uh, and also it doesn't trap in odors the same as some other fabrics. Now, that brings me on to a very important point as well. Uh, and double check the information on this as you might require, but you'll notice with all of these things that they list as a hand wash at 30 degrees, so a cold hand wash. Uh, and that is true of all of the items apart from the socks, which they actually say, I believe in the label, that you can machine wash these at 30 degrees. I would probably still argue I'd prefer to hand wash the socks as well, because of course you've got some delicate components in there and some electrics, so just be aware of that. And obviously in terms of this gear, I could probably get away with very infrequently washing the jacket, or the trousers, but when it comes to the socks, you are gonna to need to periodically freshen these up, let's say. And there you go, hopefully I covered all of the important points when it comes to Magna's heated clothing, but if you do have any specific questions, you can drop that in the comment section, we will get back to you. You can find links to all of this stuff in the description. And as you can see, there is no excuse for putting up with the cold or being uncomfortable on the bike this winter. Get yourself something nice and heated and stay toasty. See you soon.